Hey, what's going on guys? I just started moving into my commons apartment. As you can see, I've got nothing in here right now. But while I'm procrastinating actually getting all my stuff in here, I thought I'd make a video about the five best ways to make money during the semester. You know, you gotta have money for lots of Marathon Deli, Chipotle, Seastone, and of course, tuition. So here are the five best ways to make money as a college student during the semester. And I've ordered this video, so it goes from least pay to best pay. So make sure you watch this entire thing. And if at any time you're enjoying this video, hit that like button down below. I would greatly appreciate you. And remember, it's completely free. Number one, research studies. This is probably the most flexible option that you can do on your own time whenever you want. And it can be very lucrative if you find the right study. Researchers love to use college students in their studies because we represent a very concentrated and somewhat diverse pool of people. And because we're all somewhat broke, we'll do anything they want for $20. To find studies on campus, there are two main ways. The first is to just pay attention to bulletin boards around campus. Often there are flyers up advertising different studies that you can join. The second is to use the Sona Research Study platform. And you may remember this from COM 107, but basically it's an online site that allows you to register for different studies that are advertised by faculty. And to do this, you're gonna to have to sign up for a research to pay account, which is super easy. And I'll have links in the description for both psych and business studies. Number two, side hustles. These are gonna be odd jobs that should be super flexible with your time and could be quite fun. The most popular are probably Uber and Lyft, the ride sharing apps, but you can also babysit, you can move stuff around. Um, there's tons of opportunities around campus. And my personal favorite is Rover.com which is basically an app and website that connects people with pet sitters. So if you wanna get paid for hanging out with a dog for half an hour, an hour, this should be the option for you. And number three, which is gently tapping the like button down below this video. Seriously, do it. And also take the time right now to comment your favorite side hustle if you have one. You could seriously help out someone else who's watching this video. Number three for real is campus jobs. And this is where you seriously can start making some money on the side and the hours should be pretty flexible because they understand you're a student but you should be ready to commit about 10 hours per week for this job for this category there's so many choices around campus to look for you could work for rec well you could drive a bus for dots you could work in stamp um, i personally work for the diamondback as a photographer Whew! you can see some of my pictures right here um, but yeah, find what works for you and something that you enjoy. Number four, being a research assistant or TA. And this is probably a similar commitment in terms of time as the campus job, but it gives you kind of the added bonus of connecting you with a professor and kind of giving you that professional development. So if that's for you, I would highly suggest this option. This semester, I'm actually being a TA for an investing class, which I'm pretty excited about. And that's actually the focus of my YouTube channel, which is investing, financial literacy, uh, budgeting, all that type of stuff. So if you're at all curious about that, um, I've made a video specifically for college students about investing and learning the basics. So you should definitely check that out. And if you're interested, hit that subscribe button. But back to the video, if you're interested in being a TA or a research assistant, I suggest you go ahead and chat with your professors and see what's available. I'm sure they'd love to have you and find something that you're passionate about and wanna help other people learn. And number five, being a resident assistant. This is probably the biggest time commitment out of anything on this list because you're actually living in the community. But I've only heard good things from my friends who have done this and you do get that room and board remission, which is huge. So I would highly recommend you look into this if this is something you're interested in. And that's it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And please remember to leave a like down below if you enjoyed and consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every single week about investing and financial literacy, and it's definitely something that I believe college students should be aware of. So hit that button down below if you're at all interested in that, and I hope you have a great rest of your day and best of luck this semester. Thanks so much for watching, and see you guys in future videos.